us to another episode on ASUG12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the 2020 GCE Science Paper 1. We are now looking at section C. So let us look at our question C1. So A, Loma numero 1, explain the term absolute as zero temperature. So when you're talking about uh, absolute uh, zero temperature, basically we are referring to uh, the lowest uh, possible, the lowest possible temperature, lowest possible uh, temperature, where uh, basically uh, the heat energy is absent in a uh, basically substance that's uh, basically uh, the absolute zero temperature so this is also known as the zero kelvin temperature we move to a uh, loma numero two of m a uh, state uh, charges are uh, low so state charges low so basically what charges low states is basically a uh, volume divided by temperature is basically equal to a uh, constant is equal to constant at a constant pressure. So what this tells us, if we are, this is a uh, basically a uh, k, we make it k. So volume is equal to over t is equal to k. Then over one we cross multiply. So what this tells us, volume is equal to a uh, a constant k multiplied by a uh, temperature t. So what this tells me is basically uh, when volume increases temperature must also increase when a volume reduces a temperature must also re reduce so that's the relationship so in as uh, in simple ways uh charles's law states that at a constant pressure the volume of gas is directly proportional to its temperature in kelvins that's what it states okay at constant pressure, the volume of gas is directly proportional to its temperature in kelvins. So that's it uh, for uh, Loma numero two. We move to B. The table C1.1 below displays results of temperature against the volume of hair at a constant pressure of 720 millimeter mercury. Copy and complete table above so to complete the table we need to use this relationship that uh, basically a uh, temperature in kelvins okay is given by a uh, temperature in uh, degree celsius plus 273 so uh what have we been given we've been given temperature in degrees so to every uh, value we are going to add 273 to convert it to a uh, basically Kelvins. So uh, 17 plus uh, 2 uh, 73, we are going to end up with uh, basically 290. So this is 290. Then we have uh, 28. So when this one is 28 plus 273, we are going to end up with basically a 301. The next 39 plus 273, we are going to end up with a 3. Uh, 12 then we add 60 uh, 3 um, 33 then we add a t 80 so this is 18 so it is going to be uh, basically a uh, 253 then when it's 100 it's going to be basically 373 so once you do that uh, you end this uh, two max so just a matter of addition all right just to take note that uh, this absolute uh, zero temperature basically also in degrees is the same as uh, refers to 270 negative 273 degrees this is uh, in degrees then in fahrenheit is about 459.8 uh, fahrenheit fahrenheit in other uh, fahrenheit degrees so or approximately 460 let us look at uh, B, Loma number 2. Plot a graph of volume against temperature. So the first one is the y-axis. Then this is the x-axis. 
So the temperature in uh, kelvins is seen at the x-axis. Then uh, the volume in here, this is uh, basically the y-axis. Once you complete the table, this is a much and straightforward job, and uh, you get uh, four marks for doing that. So let us move to the graph paper. So if you look at the graph paper, uh, basically what you notice here is uh, basically one thing that you need to pay particular attention is make sure that you label it correctly. So we have basically temperature in kelvins. This is labeled along the x axis. Then we have volume in a, a centimeter cubic uh, along the y axis. So make sure that uh, these are properly labeled. When they're properly labeled, then it's uh, straightforward for you to transfer this information to uh, the graph. Then it's now the matter of just uh, starting uh, uh, transferring this. But what you need to take note, ensure that uh, on the graph, when you are putting uh, the intervals, they should be equally spaced, equally spaced in the same on the same scale, so that the graph comes out the way it's supposed to come out. It's not distorted. So what you notice here is we are increasing by the interval of 10 units, all of them all the way up to 380. So 380 is here basically the maximum value to ensure that uh, basically we capture all the information. Then also similarly, what you notice here is we are increasing by uh, a 0.5 units because uh, the lowest here is 0 0.7.5 so uh, and here is to uh, 90 so we can start from uh, 0 then uh, the graph will not uh, look uh, nicely so what we've done is we've just in included the symbol to see that uh, this uh, graph is uh, jumping from 0 there are numbers that have been jumped here to start from 290 and there are also numbers that have been jumped between um, 0 and 70.5 so once you understand that, make sure that always these intervals are equally spaced. Then when you understand that, then uh, uh, this section will be the easiest section for you to answer in uh, an exam. Let us transfer the information now to uh, the graph so that we get uh, the uh, four marks. So we start with uh, the first one, which is uh, 290,7.5. So we go on 290 and put a comma 7.5. So this will be the first point. Remember, there is no zero here, so we're not starting from zero. So we only start from origin if there was zero comma zero somewhere here. Then we go to a uh, basically a uh, 301 comma uh, 7.9. So now remember the intervals here are 10. So each uh, subunit here represent uh, basically along the x-axis represent one unit. So what we do is basically let us go to uh, basically and look for uh, 301. So 301 is just along uh, the line, the first box to the light of uh, 300, light of 300. Then we go along 7.9. So 7.9 is, remember this is uh, 5 units interval, so meaning uh, 2 subunits represent 0 0.1 so that we have one. Uh, 8.1, 8.2 up to 8.5. So it will be somewhere uh, 7.9. So 7.9 will just be uh, 2 um, below this. So it will be uh, somewhere here. 7.9. Then next is 312,80.1. So it's the same, similar. 312 is just 2 points above 310, then um, 8.1. So 8.1 will be uh, somewhere here. Then we have basically 333,8.7. So 333,123. So it will be along this line, comma, uh, 8.7. So 8.7 will just be, uh, will be two points above. So 1, 2, so it will be somewhere above there. Then we go to uh, basically uh, 353.9.1. So 353 uh, somewhere here, 9.1. So 9.1, it will be two units above. So we have one, one, two, three. So it will be somewhere there. Then we have 
of course 373, 9.6. So 373 is here at 3 units, then a 9.6. So 9.6 to just be a 1 point above. So we have 1, 2, 3. So it will be somewhere there. Then you are going to join this, or uh, this will be basically a straight line like that. It will be a basically just a straight line if you use your ruler. Okay, so that's how it will look. It will just be a straight line, use your ruler correctly. Then um, you get uh, the four marks. You go to uh, number three. From the graph, determine the volume of the hair when the temperature was uh, 77 degrees Celsius. So we need to use that formula again because remember what we are given us in degrees. So we need to for us to find the volume, these are in uh, Kelvin. So we need to find the temperature in Kelvins. So we know that uh, temperature in Kelvins is equal to a temperature in degrees then plus 273. Then to find the temperature. In Kelvins, again, we add 77 plus 2, uh, basically uh, 73. So basically, we are just converting uh, this temperature to uh, Kelvins, which gives us 350 uh, Kelvins, as in degree Kelvins in this case. Then, we go to 350, so, and look for the VAD. So, 350 is exactly along this line. So what we do is basically we need to draw a straight line of up to here where it's touching there then and bring it somewhere uh, there. So what you notice there is uh, if you draw this line properly to just be slightly uh, it will pass slightly above somewhere there. So it is straight. So where this will meet it will just be slightly above the line which will give you approximately uh, the answer to be about uh, 9.05 centimeter cubic. So 9.05 centimeter cubic to, uh, so any answer, since this is approximation, but if you use a ruler, you get that exact, exact number. So 9 centimeter cubic to about 9.1 centimeter cubic, but the collect is a 9.0 Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this video to be helpful, please uh, consider liking and also if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing and sharing, you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel, we discover that we've got uh, so much content. So we've got uh, Mathematics are based on revision questions, we've got a physics, we've got a chemistry, then we've got also topic based uh, section for all the subjects. And this is uh, the best uh, section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic.